Hi, I'm Edson Buyu Liswaniso, and I'm representing the economic enthusiasts from University of New Brunswick, St. John. We will be talking about our application to CanInfra, about our educational accredential program. So who are we? The Educational Credential Program is a platform for individuals that have not fulfilled the requirements set by the Educational Credential Assessment. We have two aims. Our primary aim is to verify foreign qualifications. Our secondary aim is to retain the individuals in Canada. So how would we do this? We have a four-stage process to achieve these results. Stage one involves gathering information about the applicant. Stage two involves our cooperation with educational facilities to design a tailored course to fulfill the credentials required to achieve a Canadian equivalent. Stage three involves the decision of an applicant. The applicant decides which educational facility to proceed with and we begin to design the necessary work experience alongside corporations. Stage four involves a final assessment. We will assess the applicant and review their experiences while they have been with our program. If they have successfully fulfilled our requirements, they will have a certified qualification. So where do we start? We need to consider our audience. Immigrants have a tendency to settle in areas that are more populated. This leads to more competition amongst individuals. Atlanta, Canada is underpopulated. This benefits our audience because they have less competition and more jobs available. So why is this program relevant? There are two reasons. Corporations have a growing demand for skilled individuals in the labor market. Two, Canada has an aging population with accelerated retirements. We have a declining rate of birth, and this program would satisfy both of these issues. So what's the current situation in Canada? Most of the immigrants are overrepresented in low-paying jobs or on welfare. This is because their qualifications are unrecognized in Canada. But closing this gap of recognition would produce an estimated gain of $8.7 billion. This would be a benefit to the economy, a benefit to the companies, a benefit to the government, and a benefit to the people.